As a father, parent, and educator, and concerned citizen, I am really concerned about how our youth feel about themselves. Now, as an educator, I see every day the lack of self-confidence, the lack of self-esteem our children have in themselves, and their need for positive confirmation that they're special and that they're worthy to the world, but even more importantly, worthy to themselves. Now, over COVID-19, when we went back to school, I saw this even more and wanted to do something about it. So I sat down and wrote two books for our children. But during the process, I realized that boys and girls need different things. So I separated the books into one for boys and one for girls. And I am so pleased to announce today that they are ready for you to read. Now these books are called Libby's Journey to Self-Love and Tommy's Adventures, The Power of Love. Now in the books, we have stories that explain the value of kindness, how to discover your inner beauty, and how both Tommy and Libby learn to love others and themselves, and so much more. Now at the end of each chapter, there is a condensed summary of what the child should have learned. I am so excited for you to read these books, but I want to do something different. If you're an educator, concerned parent, or just a person who's concerned for our youth, I need to ask you a favor, please. Now, if you have ever listened to any of my videos, you know that I care about how our youth feel about themselves. And you know my passion for you and how much I love the world. Well, I'm asking you to help me help the world and in the process help your children or even that little boy or girl that you don't know. Now, if you want to help, please visit the site tabletopinspiration.com and purchase a book for that young man or woman and just give it to them. If you're there in the house with them, then why not read it to them? If you are a librarian, please add it to your book collection. Now, it's important for parents, caregivers, and educators to support children in developing a healthy self-attitude by providing positive reinforcement, encouragement, and guidance. Now, this helps them to build a foundation for a successful and emotionally satisfying future. You know, changing children's attitudes about themselves is essential for several reasons. Some of them are self-esteem. Positive self-esteem is crucial for a child's emotional well-being and their mental health. When children have a healthy self-image, they are more likely to believe in their abilities and have confidence to face challenges. Resilience. Children have a positive attitude are better equipped to handle setbacks and failures, as we all will encounter. But they see them as opportunities to learn and grow rather than as a reflection of their self-worth. Social responsibilities. A positive attitude can lead to a healthier social interactions for your children. Children who feel good about themselves are often more confident in forming relationships, expressing their needs, and standing up to peer pressure. Academic success. A child's attitude about their abilities can significantly impact their performance in school. Those who believe in themselves are more likely to set higher goals and work harder to achieve them. And finally, life satisfaction. Ultimately, fostering a positive self-attitude can contribute to a happier and more fulfilling life. Children who value themselves are more likely to pursue their passions and make choices that align with their true selves. So, if you can find it in your heart, don't buy the books for yourself, but buy one for that little boy or that little girl that you want to inspire. Each of the books can be found at tabletopinspiration.com. Again, the books are called Libby's Journey to Self-Love and Tommy, The Power of Love. Each book contains stories about how to love yourself, develop your self-esteem, and stories about how to love others. Qualities that I think are essential for young people to learn and grow up understanding. For every child that you've helped, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And every child, I'm quite sure they will thank you also.